Yang Zhu instructs a Geology 101 class to understudies at Virginia Tech, however in the wake of peering profoundly into the underground world underneath the Yellowstone spring of gushing lava, Zhu says she needs to alter her exercise designs, for Yellowstone, at any rate. Yellowstone is a standout amongst the most vigorously explored volcanoes on the planet, and it's accepted to be in charge of few uber injections in the last two million years. Volcanologists comprehend its conduct great, and ascension any kind of ejection would be likely be continued by months or even long periods of caution. Be that as it may, researchers still aren't sure precisely how the spring of gushing lava became, however numerous speculate its several fountains and steaming springs are filled by an incredible crest of hot shake radiating from the profound earth, which ascends to a surface hot spot. However Zhu a hypothetical seismologist, has discovered something else. In an examination distributed a week ago in the diary Nature Geoscience, Jewport raised how she utilized seismic estimations from quakes around North America and past to manufacture a visual portrayal of a difficult-to-reach, baffling spot, the world far below Yellowstone. Furthermore, what Zhu found, was unforeseen. I was confounded, said Zhu in a meeting. She figured she may see the colossal crest of strongly hot shake, like the crest sustaining Hawaii's Kilauea fountain of liquid magma. Be that as it may, we saw something other than once expected, said Zhu. She found a huge section of old earth covering, approximately 250 to 270 miles underneath the ground. It had broken into mammoth pieces, however one section dropped far below Yellowstone delving into the profound earth and evidently setting off a springing up of the earth's mantle, the hot shake underneath the covering. There was no reasonable indication of a solitary, vast tuft encouraging Yellowstone, and its renowned national stop. The contention has been continuing for quite a while, John Wolfe, a volcanologist at Washington State University who had no part in the examination, said in a meeting. While it's actual that the crest speculation has a tendency to rule, there's dependably been this elective view. I'm truly going back and forth, Wolf included. Be that as it may, Ju isn't. On the off chance that there is a tuft, it would clarify things pleasantly, said Ju. In any case, here we don't see the crest, so in that sense, the crest hypothesis is available to challenge. Truth be told. Nobody has ever really observed the crest, nor the piece of Earth's outside layer Zhu believes is there. Earth's profound underworlds are generally far off and out of reach. So what any geologist knows is to a great extent in light of examining rocks at first glance and recognizing seismic action underneath the ground to fabricate a photo of what may come to pass beneath. That is the reason the science isn't yet settled. The two speculations include clarifying a component that framed in the course of the last 15 to 20 million years back when there was no one around to take notes or pictures of what was happening, Stanley Mersman, a geoscientist at Franklin and Marshall College who had no inclusion in the examination, said over email. So researchers are doing their level best to clarify this component in view of rather backhanded proof. Mertzman hypothesized this could conceivably be the opening salvo in a civil argument between Zhu's ongoing discoveries and specialists influenced by the hotspot hypothesis, which has many years of proof behind it. This paper wouldn't end the contention, said Wolf. Dwindle Nelson, who ponders geoscience at the University of Texas at Austin, as of late added much more confirmation to the hotspot hypothesis. In inquire about likewise distributed in Nature Geoscience back in March, Nelson reasoned that a solitary limited, rotundly molded structure somewhere in the range of 250 miles breadth, which is the immense tuft bolstering the fountain of liquid magma, sits underneath Yellowstone. Laiju, and each other geologist, Nelson and his group have no desire for burrowing a passage to profundities underneath Yellowstone. So they utilized the technique Lijus to quantify how seismic waves traveled through the ground. They found that in this impossible to miss, chamber like zone, seismic waves going through the earth move prominently slower than the stone around it. It resembles completing a CT sweep of people groups' heads, said Nelson in a meeting, 
referencing the therapeutic imaging that uncovers distinctive inward structures by dissecting how X-beam waves travel through tissue, similar to the mind. Also, Nelson's sweeps of the profound earth bolster a tuft of hot shake stretching out from the center of the earth as far as possible up to Yellowstone, he said. Be that as it may, Jew's method, which she depicted as putting uncommon glasses on the seismometers so you can see the detail better, found an underground structure, apparently like a piece of earth's covering, that broadened the distance from Yellowstone to Oregon. In the event that it was a tuft, you would simply observe an uncommon structure perfectly under Yellowstone, not all the volcanoes stretching out to Oregon, she stated, referencing a bending line of volcanoes achieving southwest from Yellowstone. This sound logical civil argument will just proceed, as Mertzman noted researchers are endeavoring to understand a long and entangled geologic history. Jew's work is extremely a hint of a greater challenge, he said. However, a way driving 400 miles underneath the surface, in the event that it were ever to exist, would unquestionably clear up a considerable measure of level-headed discussion, pondered Mertzman. What does it truly look like in the dividers of that plummeting way through shake that have been pushed and pulled through in extremely dynamic 500 million long stretches of Earth history? He ponders.